Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about the JLab Go Air. Yes, people, these are super, 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 super budget-friendly earbuds, but are they too budget-friendly? That means, are they actually good or are they terrible? So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said JLab Go Air. After that, we're going to be putting these bad boys to the Adam Lewis test to figure out, is this something you should buy or maybe skip altogether? I'm here for you, so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey, let's take a closer look at these bad boys. So over the top left, you have the logo. These are J Labs. These are the Go Air True Wireless Earbuds. Smallest fit ever. Ooh, very interesting. Dual connect, I like that. Touch sensors. Okay, so those are not gonna be physical push buttons. All right, long battery life, smaller design, more of the same. Okay, custom EQ three modes. That is what's up, people. All right, let's get inside this box. Wow, let's just take a moment to applaud this packaging right here, people. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. You have the earbud case right there looking super awesome in its interesting like army green i don't know if i purchased army green earbuds i think i purchased black ones so that is very very interesting okay so those are the two other ear tips right there the medium and the large so it looks like you probably just pull this out i'm not quite sure how this comes out of here there it goes you got your user manual tucked in there definitely want to read through all of that so you have your easy pull right here to release the batteries all right let's take a closer look at this Ooh, this is butter smooth this literally feels like it's made out of some kind of metal of course it's plastic but this is an amazingly smooth case. Wow, I am very, very happy with that. Then you have it right here where it's nicely etched in. Very premium, a big thumbs up JLab. I like that a lot. Wow, this case just continues. What? This is so bananas. Holy bejesus. I wonder if that's because of this right here. So this is gonna be where this case may be amazing for you or where this case may be absolutely terrible. And that's because you have to get this into a USB port somewhere to charge up. And if your USB port is not allowing this to hang off for some reason, then you're gonna be in trouble. So definitely take note of that. Um, but you'll never be without a charging cable. So that is really, really cool. And that also means there's no charging port. So this is a portless uh, earbud case, which is very, very rare. It just has this. Now, if for some reason this were to fail, then your entire earbud case would also fail. So I know that when my kids were babies, they liked to suck on these cables and that would corrode them and kill them. Of course, we try to stop them as quick as possible, but that's what would happen if you left it out. Um, so definitely take note of that if you get some salt water on there or something weird it may corrode and destroy this cable causing this whole thing to be useless so definitely take note of that that is one real bad thing all right let's pull this out i'm wondering if the buds are going to fly out let's see oh good job j lab <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let's take a look at them inside of this case. Really, really nice. Very reminiscent of the JBL Vibe that I reviewed where it had no lid. I don't know if JBL did it first and these guys did it second, but this is almost exactly like the JBL Vibe. And I actually found myself loving those earbuds. Um, I believe they're the JBL Vibe 100, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and take these out. So I found with the JBL Vibes that you can just basically pull them out like that. So you kind of do like this little 
gripping thing. Really nicely molded. You have some solid magnets. So they doubled down on the magnets for sure. You can see them right there next to the charging pins. So that's going to allow these earbuds to not just fall out because there is no lid. So they have to double down, make it super strong. Otherwise, if you just set it down like that, your earbuds are going to fall out and then stop charging. So that is really cool. That looks all sleek. There's an indicator light right there. I'm liking this case. I'm gonna give this case two thumbs up. Definitely very nice. It feels amazing in the hand. Um, I don't even mind that it's kind of sharp over here. It just adds to this unique feel. All right, let's take a look at the creme de la creme, shall we, people? So this is basically the standard J-Lab earbud look and design. It has the ear shaft coming out the side, so it's not coming straight out. So that means it's going to really sit uh, well in your ear. So this is like a hybrid earbud in-ear monitor. So earbuds typically hang down off the ear, in-ear monitors sit in the ear, and these are definitely going to sit in the ear um, as comfortable as they can be because they're just solid plastic and it doesn't look like they have too much molding for the ear itself. So that's definitely something to take note of. Feather, feather light though. Holy man, wow, these are super, super lightweight. All right, let's go and walk around these bad boys right quick. So there's the J Lab logo right there, which is also a touch sensor, as we found out. That looks like it's a microphone port right there. And then you have another J Lab logo right there on the earpiece, which I found to be a little bit annoying. It, it basically doesn't allow it to seal as tightly as you would want. Looks like there's another microphone right there that could be a noise um, uh, correcting microphone for phone calls, I'm not quite sure. And there's the charging pads. And then you have a bold right. That is the pro that's probably the biggest right I've ever seen, the biggest R. Um, so you really are gonna see that from a distance. Go, yep, that's right ear. Let's go ahead and see how easily these go on. Yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad at all. Once again, I don't like when they put their logo on here because when it goes into the ear canal, it may not seal all the way around, um, but they may push back and say it's far enough down that it will seal just fine. The silicone on here, I'm gonna say is not premium. You can see where there's some fit and finish issues right there. So that's all gonna add to um, a, a slightly annoyance in the ear, but these are super, super budget friendly, super cheap earbuds, so you're gonna have to cut corners here or there. So first impressions, these things are definitely budget friendly, very, very lightweight and tiny. They are very, very small. Um, I would say half the size of some other earbuds I've seen out there. Um, yeah, so first impressions, they look decent for the price. Um, it's, it's what you would expect. All right, let's drop them in the case. Ooh, yeah, those magnets. Wow, yeah, those magnets definitely do their job. And you just do that to get them out. You just sort of knock them to the side, drop them back in. Yeah, even when I drop that in slightly off, it's still pulled down because the magnets are very strong. Tap it on the table, nothing. Yeah, you can't even... Yeah, you cannot even smack them out. Um, they are very, very nicely put in there, but don't try to pull them out this way. I learned that the hard way. That is not how you do it. You just basically pull them out, um, which is very natural. It's, it's like probably the most satisfying way to pull earbuds out of a case. You literally just, just scrape them out. It's very satisfying. Okay, first impressions. I'm loving the color of the case. The earbuds are decent. They're not the best looking, um, but the case is a standout for sure. Um, two, two solid thumbs up. Earbuds, I'm gonna give them a one thumbs up for right, for right now for uh, first impressions. Um, but yeah, we won't know until we get these in the ear and test the sound drivers, people. Woo! These are actually probably one of the first earbuds that actually came without a battery fully charged. So that's really interesting. I actually just plugged it in to my power bank over here. So that's one way you can charge up your earbuds super easy on the go. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, this is actually what I ended up doing. I ended up removing some ear tips from another pair of earbuds that I had laying around. Took them off my QCYs right here because those actually fit on here perfectly. I'm pretty sure the logo right here is actually causing this to not seal around my ear, making the earbuds sound really terrible and sound like they're not um, 
giving me all the audio I need. I actually went up to the largest ear tips that came with this and those were way too big. I went to the smaller ones thinking, oh, maybe it'll fit in my ear a little bit better. No, did not fit in my ear any better. All right, I'm fully suited up and ready to go on a 40 plus mile bike ride. I got these things completely locked into the ear. They definitely stick out quite far. They're not super comfortable as of right now and they definitely are um, not sealing into my ear at all, even with the, the new earbuds. This one's a little bit better than this one over here. I put those new ear tips in and they're not completely sealing. They don't sit in the ear as they should, so they're not able to just naturally block out the noise around you. Like my Jobber Elite 3s, my Jobber Elite 3s really sit in the ear um, and these just stick out super far. I'm pretty sure the wind is gonna hit them and just attack them the whole time. I did bring my backup pair of Job Early 3s, so I may be swapping them during the ride, but who knows. Um, I also set it to JLab Signature Sound, so if you so if you triple tap the right ear over here, um, it'll change it from Bass Boost to Balance to JLab Signature, and I think JLab Signature is absolutely amazing. It really hits all the highs, the mids, the lows, and the bass correctly at least for my listening so that's where I'm at but yeah um, definitely big bulgy large earbuds that don't really have a lot of battery life so it's kind of like wasted and the sound quality so far is just good it's not great it's not um, anything other than just being good sound quality um, nothing to write home about nothing to get really excited about uh, but yeah let's get into this bike ride Okay, just past the halfway point. Um, listening to an audiobook right now. I can hear the audiobook really well. The wind noise is not too bad. I was listening to some music. It's not the best because you can hear the world around you pretty easily. Um, but as far as safety goes, that's not bad if you want to hear cars coming up behind you. Okay, just finished a brutal 40 mile bike ride. Um, yeah, that was pretty intense. These things definitely did their job. They uh, got me immersed in my music. They got me immersed in the podcast, in the audiobook that I was listening to. But they did not stop uh, the road noise and stop the noise from around me. So I wasn't completely locked in to my cycling. I was still paying attention to the world around me. Um, so if you're someone who's riding on slightly busy roads and you have a lot of cars, I don't then these could actually be really good because you could hear the cars coming up from behind you. I only had a couple to deal with, so it was no big deal. Um, but yeah, even right now as I'm talking, they're starting to just slowly move out. I actually had to adjust them, which I never have to adjust um, earbuds while cycling. So I had to actually adjust them. They're, they don't lock in at all, and they're very, very large. But I was surprised that the wind noise um, was not bad. I didn't hear the wind doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, it got a one thumb up, not two for cycling. Um, and I'm giving them a four out of five stars right now for sound quality and um, the cycling test. So we'll see how it goes later on the review. Okay, so this is gonna be the microphone test. So this is gonna be if you're doing what I'm doing, which is recording audio through your phone. I'm recording this on my Note 20 Ultra. So all the audio you're hearing is coming from the onboard microphones, not from my Note 20 Ultra. So if you're doing online gaming or you're doing anything where you have your earbuds paired up to your device and you're having to communicate through it, this is gonna be a little bit of what the call quality will be like, but of course, you're dealing with cell towers with that, so it's not fully gonna be that. Okay, so I was able to listen to music while driving. I went about 40 to 50 miles an hour for about 30 minutes, and I was actually really surprised. I could still hear a little bit of the road noise around me, but I was actually really immersed in what I was listening to, and that's great because my Honda Fit has a lot of windows, and you can get a lot of road noise even with the windows rolled all the way up because it's not a luxury vehicle. So they didn't cancel out all the noise. I wasn't fully immersed, but I would say one thumb up out of two, and it was a good, enjoyable listen. 
Okay, we're gonna be doing the mow, trim, and blow test with these bad boys right here. They don't really lock into my right ear, so I know it's gonna be a little bit annoying to hear all the mower sound, but I'm gonna be listening to a podcast, How Did This Get Made? So I'm gonna put this on a medium to high volume and hope that I can hear the podcast without having to crank the volume all the way up. I do have an electric mower right there. That thing is almost as loud as a gas mower. It just doesn't have a gas engine, so it's a little bit quieter. But the blades still spin around super loud and everything still clanks and makes all that sound. So we're going to be doing the mow, trim, and blow test with these earbuds locked in and see if we can hear our podcast or if these are going to fail. Okay, just finished mowing, trimming, and blowing. These things were actually quite comfortable for the hour to two hours that I was out mowing. I don't know exactly how long I was out there, uh, but they definitely were comfortable. Once again, this ear is not locking in. I kept adjusting it, moving it around. It still would not lock into place. Um, they're, they're definitely loud enough, so the volume's good. I didn't have to turn it up. When I was using the blower, I noticed uh, immediately that these were not going to block out all the blower noise, but I didn't get a lot of uh, noise from the blower into my ear so I felt comfortable um, yeah so I heard my podcast pretty good the entire time I didn't have any problems with that I'm gonna give it a one out of two thumbs up so didn't really pass the mo test but they were fine they did their job but just didn't get me super immersed in what I was listening to oftentimes I thought um, I was hearing the mower and the trimmer and the blower a little bit too loud Okay, just got these things paired up to my iPod right here. This iPod is packed full of 256-bit audio tracks, a wide genre of music, so I'm going to be able to listen to all kinds of different music on this iPod. All right, let's get into this music listening experience, people. Woo! Okay, just did some good music listening on the iPod, and I have to say these things did not really pass the test. They don't really sound that good. They're a little bit tinny. They're definitely loud, though. If you turn the volume up on the earbuds themselves, it does not turn the volume up on your iPod, so definitely take note of that. If you have a non-phone, so if you have a tablet, an iPod, a computer, or a TV, you're gonna have to turn the volume up on the earbuds themselves, then turn the volume up on the device that you're paired to. So when I first started playing the music, I was like, ooh, this is really quiet. I had to turn the volume up on the iPod and it was still quiet. So then I started turning the volume up on here and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Um, went through the different balance mode, bass boost, and then JLab Signature. JLab Signature still sounds the best, but I actually found myself putting it on bass boost because it didn't really have a lot of bass quality. And this iPod, I know, packs a punch because I've paired them up. I paired it up with other earbuds and it sounds amazing. So definitely take note of that. These are not your high end uh, and they're not even your mid grade sound drivers. They're, they're good. They're going to pass the test. If you're going to be listening to audiobooks, podcasts, and casual music on a low setting, you're going to be fine. You're going to like these, but definitely not something that's going to give you a good sound quality. I would definitely recommend going towards a JBL earbud if they're on sale because JBL is phenomenal at dropping the price down and JLab is always at a good price but these earbuds just did not do it for me. Hey dad, just want to let you know this call is being recorded for YouTube review purposes. This is the JLab Go Air earbuds phone call test. How, how does my voice sound, dad? <laughs> it sounds lousy. <laughs> it's not as clear, so I'm gonna talk a little bit louder because the house is quiet, so I'm talking a little bit louder. And you know the difference between microphones and call quality, right? Like meaning like cell tower call quality. So it doesn't sound like choppy, like a cell tower problem. It sounds like microphone problem, right? Yeah. And I'm going to pull one of the earbuds out and I'm actually going to talk directly into the microphone. Does it sound any better now? So the call, so the quality went up a little bit, huh? Yeah. So I suspect that the microphone is actually being blocked a little bit by my ear, causing it to be, um, 
to get less uh, of my voice. That's what I think. Now I'm, I put it right back in. How does it sound now? Did it get muffled a little bit? Is it lesser quality? Quieter? Oh, it's the same as it was. <laughs> oh, maybe I just moved it out of my ear a little bit. Let me let me do the other one. Okay, so I just moved it out of my ear a tiny bit, adjusted it. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to come down to like how big your earlobe is. My earlobe is a little bit bigger than other people's, so I think that's probably going to come into play when people are talking on the phone. Okay, that's all of the recording I'm going to do. Um, hopefully, we got a good audio signal. Okay, so I think I've been using these bad boys for long enough that I have a full comprehensive review. And let's start off with the case itself. So the case is absolutely amazing. It is so smooth and it just feels perfect. You slide it in your pocket. It doesn't feel annoying at all. It's definitely one of those cases that stands out. If you see it from a distance, you're like, ooh, what kind of earbuds are those? They are the J Lab. Of course, this uh, design right here is for sure a copy from JBL. But they may push back and say that they had this design all along. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I do like it a lot. The fit and finish is very solid. The only weird thing is the bottom right here. This does not actually push all the way in flat. And if it does push in flat right here, then it sticks out over here. So it's a little bit strange. If you get it to sit flat, it'll kind of sit flat. But like I said, this will stick out a little bit. So this portion down here got a little strange because you would bump it and then that would stick out like that and then it would just start rocking and then you have to push it back in. So um, maybe wish it was a little bit deeper right here for this to go in and that would have been fine. Um, once you do pull this out, this is, uh, it's great. It does its job. I didn't really have any worries like I thought about, um, but of course I didn't go to the beach or do anything like that. So I couldn't uh, test whether it would get corroded, but definitely take note of that. If this thing dies, then you will not be able to charge your earbuds. So your earbuds would basically be dead unless they somehow sell a replacement cable on their website. I don't know. You can look into that yourself. But it is nice to have, um, but just take note, there are no ports on this thing. There's just a charging cable. So the charging was fine. It charged up in a reasonable amount of time. The battery life in the case was just as advertised. I didn't have any problems with the battery life. In fact, I really didn't have any problems with the battery life in the earbuds. Once you figure out how to just rip these things out like that, you fall in love with the way that you get your earbuds out of this case and you want this to be a thing for all earbuds it really it's really weird because i like flipping open cases and i also really like being able to just rip out my earbuds real quick and throw them in my ears it's very natural and it's actually exactly how you get them out of your own ears so that is something that's really really cool once you get these out the sound quality is decent it's not bad at all the j lab signature is my go-to so basically what you have, you have three different presets built into these earbuds, which is really amazing for budget earbuds. Most of the time you don't get anything. So with these, you can change it from balanced to bass heavy to J-Lab signature, which is really, really cool. Um, once you put these in the ear, you find that they're not super comfortable. They, they didn't really lock into my right ear at all. I found myself having to put on these different ear tips and that helped a little bit, but not much. I did find myself not really bothered by them when I was doing the lawn mowing. That was fine. So I figured I figured these are probably a little bit more like casual listening. You're not really trying to be super heavy into, um, you know, whatever you're listening to. You're not trying to get really immersed. So definitely take note of that. These are not... Um, they're not the best earbuds out there, and I would almost say that you'd be better off buying a pair of JBL earbuds when they're on sale versus buying these. I think I paid $14 for these on sale, so that's a steal. Now, if, if you're buying these for your your you know 12-year-old kid, your 13-year-old kid who doesn't really have any super preference, um, or maybe you're buying it for you know your 10-year-old kid. These could be fine if you're um, an elderly person and you, or you're buying them for your, your your grandparent or something and you're buying first earbuds. These could be fine. They're, they, I don't see a problem with that. But I think there are better budget-friendly earbuds out there and I think these just missed the mark a little bit. There was nothing about them that really blew me away. There was nothing about them that really stood out. Um, the touch sensitive portion here worked fine. That was good. Battery life 
Once again, you're getting 20 hours combined with the case and the earbuds. I did not have any problems with battery life. They work perfectly. The only thing I found to be a little bit annoying was this, this light in here would just constantly run the entire time. So let me put this in. I found that that light oddly was on the, it seemed like the entire time, but it could have been just while it was charging. So definitely take note of that. Um, these don't have the most battery life, so I would think maybe JLab could just change that and remove that light to save battery, but they may push back and say, no, we don't need to save battery. Battery life is fine. So um, yeah, I'm gonna give these things a solid 4.0 star rating. Um, definitely recommended to people out there that know that these are not the best earbuds. They're not super comfortable. The sound quality is good, but not that great. Um, the ability to cancel out noise is going to come down to how well these actually seal around your ear. And if you do like I did, which is swap out the earbud, the ear tips, you may find them to be a little bit better. Um, not blown away, not something that I'm going to tell people to run out and buy, but if you know what you're buying, these are good. The case is phenomenal. I absolutely love this case. But like I said, JBL has the same case, the Vibe 100. I would actually recommend if the Vibe 100 was on sale, buy those earbuds. They're better than these for sure. These are a runner up, but I love the lidless case. It's absolutely amazing. It's really fun to just pull these in and out and drop them back in. The magnets are phenomenal. You're not gonna have to worry about them popping out. Solid 4.0 star rating. Wish I could give them more, wanted to give them more, wanted to actually be in love with these things, but I'm not. So there you go. Hopefully I helped. All right, there you go. That's the JLab Go Air. Hopefully I helped you out and hopefully you're able to make your purchase or not. If you did like this video, definitely click and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time you get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 5K. Yes, people finally hit the 5K mark, but I'm on my way to 6K and I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.